Welcome back to NBA Cinema. I want to talk about Jalen Brunson and the lack of MVP love he's getting. If he's anywhere under anybody's top four, then you absolutely bugging. Jalen Brunson, what he's been able to do and sustain this New York Knicks roster in the absence of really OG Ananobi for the most part. I mean, we've seen him in recent games, but since that trade, you know, he's been out. Julius Randle has spent substantial time on the sideline and is going to be out for the season. Mitchell Robinson's been out for a long time. So he's been, excuse me, they've been incorporating new pieces via trade and, and different things like that, tweaking lineups, and he's been the constant. Guys have been asked to do more. Josh Hart and those guys salute to them, his rebounding, everything he's doing. But Jalen Brunson is a top tier MVP candidate, period. Bar none, he's on the level with everybody else. And what I want to point out today, guys, is the hypocrisy, or I can't even say hypocrisy, but you know, the the revelation that Kenny Smith and Shaq is getting now, Barkley Ben told him that Jalen Brunson was that guy. And they wasn't trying to hear it for the longest time. But we're going to look back over these clips, and then we're going to see the culmination of all this when they finally admit that Jalen Brunson has been that guy. Well, Shaq says, you know, the Knicks is the second best team in the East. But Kenny Smith finally come to terms and said that Brunson has been the best player in the Eastern Conference. And that's all I've been yelling for for a good bit now. So uh, let's check it out. Jalen Brunson is arguably the best. Not talking about K, KD, LeBron free agents. Jalen Brunson is probably one of the best free agent picked up in NBA history. What he's doing. History? For history. Oh, you are. A, a guy who... History? Nobody thought. I mean, this year, for sure. No, no, no. no. History? Well, we're, we're this history. Year. First All-Star All appearance in his sixth season. I was hoping I got that one. Twelfth in the league in scoring with 27. Four rebounds, six assists, which is number 14. He's played in 46 of their 48 games. 18 games of 30-plus. He's had four of 40-plus and had a 50-piece at Phoenix and so, should be in the MVP yeah. conversation. Yeah, and so Jalen Brunson. So now you have to go to All Star Weekend. Yeah, I thought well, Jalen wasn't going. I wasn't going. <laughs> so I would have loved to see Jalen Brunson be a starter. I said this last year. I can't believe what a great player he's turned into. When he went to the Knicks last year, I was like, "That's a good signing. It's one of the best signings I've ever seen for a free agent. Nobody knew he was going to be that good. You know." Uh, he has been fantastic. He's made the Knicks relevant. And uh, I would love... Uh, you you know, don't think the Lakers signing Shaq was... No, a, Shaq was a Hall of Famer. You said one no, of no, no. the greatest Shaq, signings no, no. in free still, Yeah, it is one of the did greatest he, Did signings. he say that? It, it, Shaq, I, did he not I'll say still, that? And I'll stick by that. But, but it is a great free agent. I, I mean, it's, not, it's not bringing Shaq to Los Angeles. You no, know, but, but listen, Shaq was already one it's, of the best players in the world ever. That's nobody a great free thought, no, no, nobody thought Jalen Brunson was going to be as good as he is. You don't think bringing Kevin Durant to Golden State was a great... Th th those guys were already made men. Okay. Nobody thought Jalen Brunson was going to be... No, he's great. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's going to be an all-star, but... He's going to be an all-star, but, but I'm saying I'm saying that's one of the NBA greatest history. free agents in, in my NBA opinion. It's my opinion. Like Shaq <laughs> and Kevin Durant, those guys, Hall of Famous. Okay. They were already great players when they got treated. Nobody, and I guarantee you, if the Knicks be honest with you, they didn't think he was going to be this good. They thought he would be an upgrade. But what Jalen Bronson has did for the Knicks, he made the New York Knicks relevant for the first time since Patrick Ewing. The, uh, and he's not even the best player on the team. I think he is. Bronson's the best player on the team. Bron Bronson it's is debatable. a jock. It's debatable. Uh, well, yeah. Bron Bron well, okay, we can disagree, but Bronson's the best player. But they need to do something because they're obviously a lot deeper. That the 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 always the big question still is, are you do you have two guys that can play at the level of Tatum and Brown when it comes down to it? Do you have two guys that can play the way Donovan Mitchell can possibly play? Or do you have two guys on a consistent in a seven game series, can you match Joel Embiid and Maxi? That's those are the questions that's gonna either happen if, if Joel Embiid comes back. Because the Knicks are right there, but are they able to go over the top with really on paper just on paper Ernie they don't have always the best player no matter how great Brunson, Brunson is great 
but sometimes they, if you look at it, be in the East, in the East, in the East, East first. In the East, second best team right now would be. I'd have to go with, and I hate to say his name, but the Knicks. But the New York Knicks are the most surprised team to me in basketball right now. They should be a number six seed without Julius Randle. And, but Robinson but, missed most of the OG missed, missed games. Brunson has yeah. been the best basketball player in the Eastern Conference by far. Uh, for so you guys hear how much that narrative has changed over time, right? Charles Barkley been saying it from the beginning, and I tried to do it chronologically the correct way. I think the only thing I might have had out of order was the all-star commentary. I think that second all-star video was first, and then, you know, that first one I showed was second after Brunson finally made the team. But I wanted people to see the timeline of some of the things that's been said and some of the ways Brunson's been kind of discounted as a star. He is a superstar basketball player. And you may say, okay, Kyrie's better. No, he's not. He couldn't handle the pressure of Brooklyn, much less the New York Knicks. He could not lead the New York Knicks. Um, Kevin Durant couldn't do this. He, he couldn't do this for the Knicks. So Brunson is better than him too, you know, especially at this stage. But I think as a leader in all the intangible things, as a standalone player to lead a franchise, he is better than them people. I'm tired of people just overlooking it and saying, oh, he's seven foot and he pulls up from third. No, Jalen Brunson is the chosen player to lead the New York Knicks. Now, are they going to win a title? A lot has to go right for you to win a title. First and foremost, they're going to need more talent, um, you know, maybe some more perimeter scorings. And I ain't even talking about no superstar level players. I think identity players are big. I think someone like a Norm Powell over there on the Clippers bench, only coming off the bench because he's playing behind Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Him and Terrence Mann, who will, I think Terrence actually starts sometimes, but, well, no, he only starting because Kawhi's out, I believe. But you bring those type of players that defend, can match up really well against anyone and add that to your team depth-wise, I think you just have such an identity and you got someone like Norm who I think would be comfortable scoring 19, 20 points a game on the team and you have that depth on that team that's just going to be hard to beat i always said this team needs to win more so like the detroit pistons in 2004 than trying to just go grab a donovan mitchell that does not fit the identity that this team has established and i want brunson to get his flowers man brunson is the best point guard in the nba right now period i know people love shea gilgis alexander i know people consider luke a point guard Luke is a ball-dominant wing that handles the ball, that always has the ball in his hand and is able to get assists and stuff like that. So people equate it to point guard. And I ain't taking away from Luka. I'm just saying players like Grant Hill have been point forwards in the past. So that's not a knock. You just are a point forward because you can't guard a point guard on the other end of the floor. That's what I'm saying. Um, also, you know, people like Pippen has played point forward. So it, it's not like a new thing. LeBron point forward type player you know what i'm saying he's not a point guard uh not by the definition of what i remember a point guard used to be and what they used to have to be um you know when leading the team a specific way these guys are wings you look at their physical build and their, their some of the physical attributes they have they are wings um so brunt i say all that to say brunson is a real point guard um shea gilgis i look at him like a combo type guard um and he can run the offense so if you want to include Shea you definitely can I just kind of see him as a combination guard just because of his ability to score in so many ways and you know his size and and all those things that he has he's you could let like a Jalen Williams run point forward on a team like that that's where point forwards are good for combination guards like that you know or a team where the shooting guard is the best player so ain't no knock on these players but i think jalen brunson just to be able to pick up this scoring load on the fly while still running the team you look at that type of intangible that he has it gets slept on that the team just continues to flow no matter who goes down but that's such a a high mark for him. You can see why teams he's been on has won at every level he's played on prior to the NBA. And even the Dallas Mavericks has had their best recent uh, season, you know, with him as the second guy to Luka Doncic. And that's because 
He is a winner. He makes winning plays. He'll put his body on the line like the 12th man on the bench. He'll take three or four charges in a game. You know what I'm saying? He may not be the best lateral defender, but he'll get in there. and He'll, like, you know it's a little harder for people to post him up uh, than it is a guy his this normal, you know, that's his size. You know, so Brunson, he'll fight back in the post and different things like that. So, I just don't want to gloss over what this young man has done. And I want to highlight Kenny and Shaq kind of changing their tune. And Chuck has been warning them forever about this, and now they finally come to terms with it. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.